All right, we're back for part number two of the uh, flea market uh, Magic the Gathering pickups or finds. Uh, first round, if you guys watched, uh, basically there was nothing of value there. I uh, guess I would expect more of the same here. Um, as you can see, these little bundles of uh, six cards, no idea what's in them. Uh, I would assume that it's all... Uh, all commons again uh, basically um, whoever I got these from they probably just went through picked out all the rares and um, mythics and whatnot and uh, kept those for themselves put them in their own collection and whatnot and just getting rid of a bunch of uh, commons where you know they've got just multiples and multiples of them but anyway uh, for those of you who are watching um, all my other videos I do appreciate it um it's uh getting those counters up there uh almost got 100 subscribers um yeah just trying to get into this uh here a little bit it's kind of fun um you guys you know watching here you know you're probably like ah, i would never have paid money for not knowing what i want well that's part of the fun so life's a gamble take a chance uh figure it out you never know maybe this person doesn't know what was in there and they're just literally grabbing something Highly unlikely. But anyway, here we go. First packet. <clears throat> yep. Sp sprinting, War Brute, Trail Slash, Praise Vengeance, uh, Infantry Veteran, Drain Life, and Angelic Wall. Yep. Again, more commons. <clears throat> Yeah, so, anybody who's uh, watching TG, TCG Loves uh, live podcast, or not podcast, but uh, giveaway there, uh, I'm not sure if that was still going on, well, it might be still going on now while I'm doing this, uh, wonder if I won anything or not, but, anyway, Sporoloth Ancient, Sage Rose Savant, Goblin War Paint, Emerald Charm, Claustrophobia. Ooh. Now, well, was he in a casket or something? Six feet of earth muffled his cries. Yep, he's in a casket. And then another angelic wall. Wow. <clears throat> Anybody else just randomly go to like flea markets or garage sales, find them, and just buy them up just because? Room Claw Bear. Patagia Viper, Patagia, Patagia. Somebody put that in the comments on how you say that. Patagia, Patagia Viper. I don't know. Is that even a real Viper? Keening Apparition. War Spike, Changeling. Vandalize. Spiritual Visit. Why does he look like a goblin or something? I don't know. Orin Reef Recluse. Skitter of Lizard. Wee Rango. Vulturius Avon. Hungry Mist. I remember that from way back. Uh, probably the 95, 90, 90, the, I can't remember. Revised Edition. Not this one. I don't think this is revised. Ember Gale. Blood Pet, Tempest. Who's been playing Magic for, uh, well, since the beginning, and who's recently come on? Put down in the comments how many years you guys have been playing. Chill to the Bone, Aradara Express. Menace, crew, four. Tap any number of creatures you control with a total power of four or more. This vehicle becomes an artifact creature until end of turn. Eight, six for five. Hmm. Alley invasion. 
Ember Gale, Drowner Initiate, and then Cloud Spirit. How's the weather for you guys? Uh, hopefully, uh, people down in Florida all got out and uh, safely, and everybody's uh, you know safe and sound. I know there's some major destruction down there, especially what two hurricanes back to back. Yeah, not good. Dub, Centaur's Herald, another Adaraz Express, Scattershot Archer. Kovalkin Fetish, draw a card at the beginning of the turn. Goblin Elite Infantry. Who builds Goblin decks? Anybody build Goblin decks for the, I guess, the normal play? Uh, I don't even know how many different ways there are to play. I've kind of looked it up and there's a whole lot of different ways to play and the only ways I normally would play were just your typical, you know, no more than four of a kind in your deck. Swiftwater Cliffs. Scattershot Archer. Galver War Paint. Essence Filter from Ice Age. Cinder Bones. Assault Zeppelin. Yeah, um, I'd play what the group of people that played Magic back then, we'd play, uh, we, I don't know, Blitzkrieg or whatever. So whenever it was your turn, if what all the lands you drew, uh, you laid all those out. So you drew your normal seven, just like you normally would. War Mammoth, Vicious Hunger, Goblin Motivator, Ember Fist Zubera, Jill to the Bone again. And then Ancient Crab. Anyway, so your your turn would normally... You'd just start out the same, but you would lay down all of your lands. And then play from there. And then during your upkeep, you would always draw back up to seven. So you always had seven cards to start with. It just made the game, you know, go by a little bit faster. But those who played Goblin decks or uh, mainly the red decks that were just burn decks... You know, they would normally win because they were all instants, so they always had one one to three mana to begin with, and then you just got fireball to death, or lightning bolt. Wormwood Dryad. Wayward Giant. Viscid le Lemurs. Those don't look like lemurs. Vernadi Shield Mate. Vastwood Gorger. And Valakut Predator. <laughs> Am I going too fast or too slow? Let me know. Worko Swift Claw. Cat Warrior. Colagon Aspirant. Whenever Colagon Aspirant becomes blocked by a creature, Colagon deals one damage to that creature. Goblin Mutant. Ember Shot. Choking Sands. From Mirage. Destroy target non swamp land. If that land is a non basic land, Choking Sand deals two damage to that land's controller. Angelic Armament. Yeah, I think that's what the person did was just cleaning out their uh, commons, multiple duplicates, whatever. Or they, or she does what you know, kind of I did, just goes around buying up all the magic cards and then just basically packages them up and resells them. Runes of the Deuce, enchant creature. As long as enchanted creature is red, it gets a one one. And has double strike. As long as an enchanter creature is green, it gets a plus one, plus one, and has trample. Goblin Piker. Umbrell Gear Masher. Chorus of Might. And Angelic Page. Last of the little packs. And we'll move on to the bigger packs. Yeah, it 
wasn't big waste of money, but eh, whatever. Wall limbs. Vidalkin Surtark. Surtarch. Tap target artifact creature or land. Activate this ability only if you control three or more artifacts. Tap their stuff. Spore Cap Spider. Rush of Battle. Pale Recluse. And Chiron Glider. Chiron Glider can't block for two. Uh, so he's a 1 1 with Flyer. Alright. Well, move out of the way. Alright, huh? There's the first box. There's the first card. Dragon fodder. Who knows what's in here? Uh, put two one one red goblin creature tokens into play. So that's it. That's all it does. For two mana, you get two one one creatures. Die young. Uh, dematerialize. Dead Reckoning, Crusher Zendikin, Grave Bramble, Defender, Protection from Zombies. So for three mana, three, four, and it's got protection from zombies. <laughs> Goblin War Paint, Glimmer Dust Nap, Sleep Tight Giant, uh, Cunning Breeze Dancer. Oh, wow, we got an uncommon. Is that the first uncommon we've seen? I think it's the first uncommon I've seen. Probably worth absolutely nothing. We'll keep it out just just to see. I'll let you know what it is when we get it. Uh, Lackless Rig. Hungry Spriggan. Battlewise Valor. Bant Sojourners. Hostile Realm. Hijack. Gain control of target artifact or creature until end of turn. Untap it. It gains haste until end of turn. Heart sliver. All slivers are unaffected by summoning sickness. I remember those. Why do I? Well, they're probably not worth anything. I think I tried to make a sliver deck way back then when Tempest was around. Guardian lions. Boomerang. Bond Beetle, Bloodfell Caves. What's the uh, the blue and green uh, one of these? I think I had one. I don't remember what it is. But I need to find a few of those. Bitter Revelation, Avon Cloud Chaser, Armament Nix, Funeral Charm, Entropic Eidolon, Ember Shot. Ember shot deals three damage to target creature or player. Draw a card. Yeah, wow, well, that's expensive for that. I guess you're paying for the draw card. I remember that uh, Blitzkrieg deck, you know, with the instants and stuff. Yeah. Well, there you go. There's three damages right out of the gate. <clears throat> Dwarven warriors. Well, there's a revised or fourth edition here. Dromoka Captain. Again, nothing. But, yeah, well, we're all watching. Sitting somewhere, break time at work, break time somewhere, hiding in the basement away from the kids, away from the wife, whatever. Uh, a douse in gloom. A funeral Pyre, Frenzied Rage, Bow Garden Rager, Baldavian Bald Barbarians, wow. Dream Thief, Flying, when Dream Thief comes into play, draw a card if you played another blue spell this turn. Dematerialize again. What's with the little, what is it, headstone? You guys see that right there, headstone? What's with the headstone? Is that 
normal with uh, whatever this is. I'll have to look that up. Uh, Dripping Dead. Deep Sea Terror. Dead Ringers. Dagger Drone Imp. Crystal Golem. Crippling Chill. Bloodfell Caves again. Blessed Light. Benevolent Unicorn. Bant Sure Blade. Destructive Tempering. Aspect of Gorgon. Gloom Sour. Whenever Gloom Sour becomes blocked by a creature, that creature's controller loses two life and you gain two life. Eh. Not bad for an 8-6, 7 mana. Guilt Grove Stalker. Dutiful Return. Angelic Wall. Anok Bonkin. Aerial Volley. Dramatic Rescue. Glacial Ray. Ghoul Razor. And Gerard's Irregular. Ir Irregulars. Well, case number two. Here goes case number three. Formless Nurturing. Nothing there. Ball of Light. Sagu Archer. Incremental Growth. Foxfire Oak. A red or a green. Foxfire Oak gets plus 3 plus 0 until end of turn. Dauntless Avon. Benefaction of Ronus. Tandem Tactics. Talisman. Talisman of Indulgence. Oh, another uncommon. Just because. We'll put it to the side. Probably worth like what? 10 cents? 9 cents? Swift Response. Surge of Thoroughweft. Tho Throughweft? Throughweft? Yeah. Savage. Savage Surge. Sunstorm Charger. Salt Road Patrol. Viashino First Blade. Haste when Viva for enters the battlefield, it gets a plus two, plus two until end of turn. So it's a four, four when it first comes out. Swing, attack, and a hit. Veteran armor. Blade tusk boar. Black popular shaman. Bitter blade warrior. Folk medicine. You gain one life for each creature you control. Flashback. You may play this card from your graveyard for its flashback cost. Then remove it from the game. For what? Yeah, three. Two and a green. And then one and a white. Flowstone wall. Gets a plus one, minus one until end of turn. So at least it does some kind of damage. Death cultist. Deadshot minotaur. I think I tried a minotaur deck years ago too. I don't think it worked out. I think it was too costly. All the Minotaurs were expensive. As far as to put out. Dead Drop. Look out for them alligators. Ocular Halo. Observant Alseed. Nirkana Assassin. Nest Robber. Iron Shell Beetle. Interpret the Signs and Insolence. Oh, I don't know what that is. We'll look that up. Hurricane Milton. No. I don't know what that is. An ancient carp. Alright, right out. What is that? That's a fish. Just a 2 5 for 5 man. Man, all these cards are expensive to put out. Uh, bring to trial, exile target creature with power four or greater. Fire breathing, one mana, one red, and it's a plus one, plus O oh, enchantment creature. Drudge the skeletons, regenerate drudge. So that's always nice, especially if you made a necromancer deck. So, you know, when things are dying, you're bringing them back. 
corpse lung, fog, downhill charge, dunned operative, demon male hauberk. Equip creature gets a four plus four plus two equip and then sacrifice a creature. Oh, to equip it, you sacrifice a creature. So four to bring out, and then you, wow, sacrifice a creature to put on. Meh. Get a little token out there or whatnot. Another uncommon. Deep water, hypnotist, cunning. What is that? Is that an uncommon? Why is it white? That says common to see, but why is it white? I don't know. Is that just the logo? Hmm. We'll look that up too. Learn something. Claim of Erebos. Aegis Automation. Force Away. Farbog Explorer. Chandra's Fury. Whoa! Catalyst Elemental. Cancel. Boomerang. Another boomerang. Two different arts. Mirage and probably, what is this, 97? Is that 6th uh, edition or something? 5th edition? I don't know. Not revised because it's got the date down there. Revised, I think, doesn't have the date. I think it's just the illustrator. Blood Fire Enforcers, Beastmasters, Mage Mark, Avon, Wind Reader. Okay, that thing, there's that, whatever that is, but it doesn't have the tombstone next to it. So is it just that card that had that? I don't know. Yeah, see, I think this is revised. No date down here, just the illustrator with the big white border. Uh, Fester Hide Boar, Fearsome Awakening. Oh, another uncommon. I don't think that's... There's probably all, like, what, five cents or something. Not worth anything. An Ember Shot. All right. Well, we'll look those cards up. And we'll, uh, we'll put them on the screen, you know. Like I said, they're probably worth nothing, but, yeah, whatever. So, all right. You guys, uh, like and subscribe and, uh, give it a thumbs up. And, uh, I'll keep doing this. Um, if there's anything anybody actually wants, let me know. Um, We'll, uh, maybe, maybe I can mail some of those cards out or something. I don't know. Let me know. All right. Have a good day. Later.